Hey guys, welcome back. Today, we're gonna to be reading for you the story, I Am Sorry. I'm here with my daughter. Amen. Amen, Amen is my oldest daughter, okay. So cool, let's, let's go ahead and read our story together, okay? All right, I Am Sorry. Written by Moira Butterfield, illustrated by Rachel O'Neill. What naughty monkeys at the zoo. They're dropping their foods and throwing it too. The monkeys don't speak, but if they could, they should say sorry for not being good. If you drop your food like the monkeys do... What should you say? Say I'm sorry too. Right! Nice! What noisy hippos at the zoo? They woken the sleepy old new. The hippos don't speak, but if they could... They should say sorry for not being good. If you make a noisy hullabaloo, what should you say? Say I'm sorry too. Right, great. What silly penguins at the zoo? They're splashing the lions and the tigers too. The penguins don't speak, but if they could, they should say sorry for not being good. If you splash your friends when you shouldn't do, what should you say? Say, I'm sorry too. Right, that's right. What grumpy zebras at the zoo? They're pushing in front of the kangaroo. The zebras don't speak, but if they could, they should say sorry for not being good. If you push someone like the zebras do, what should you say? Say, I'm sorry too. None of the animals in the zoo know good manners like you do. But just imagine, if they could, what should they say for not being good? Sorry! Right, great job. Now, here's a little question for you guys. Always keep in mind, what should you do? What will you say if this thing happens? If you drop your food, what should you do? If you said, I'm sorry, you were right. That's right. If you make too much noise, what should you say? If you said, I'm sorry, you were right. That's right. If you make someone angry, what should you say? If you said, I'm sorry, you were right. That's right. You, to make somebody angry, you say, I'm sorry. If you bump into someone, what should you say? If, if you said, I'm sorry, you were right. That's right. Great job, Eamon. Thank you for reading. Awesome. Hey guys, thank you again for joining and reading our book together with us, I Am Sorry, written by Maura Butterfield and illustrated by Rachel O'Neill. Have a great day, guys. Bye. Bye. Mind your child's manners. It is important to start teaching good manners early so that they become a habit for life. The stories in Mind Your Manners series are written to make learning good manners a positive experience. Here are some of the ways you can help to make it fun. Find a quiet time to look at this story together and encourage your child to join in. The rhymes make the stories easy to remember. After every question, talk about what you might say or do. Ask your child for suggestions. Joining in will help them to learn. Use the pages at the end of the story to check that your child understands when it is appropriate to use good manners there's a reward star for every right answer. Throughout the day, reward your child's good manner with plenty of praise and a colorful sticker. Again, I hope you enjoyed the reading for I Am Sorry. Have a great day, guys. Bye.